Good morning and welcome to day seven of our 28 days of Airstream renovation. This week of work has been insane, but we've gotten a lot of stuff done. Today is Saturday, so we have a full day to commit to this project, which is awesome because we need it. And Gorn is going to be, what that sound? <sighs> Plastic flapping in the wind. <sighs> Problem averted. Gorin is going to be joining us today. So we're gonna get just a ton of stuff done. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you'll be notified anytime we release a new video. This is day seven of our 28 day challenge. So we've got three more weeks to go and then hopefully we'll be able to uh, get this to a point where we can go on our first trip. I'm dying for a vacation. It's been a minute with just, you know, a vacation with me and Goran. So let's get to it. I think today I'm going to start by cleaning up and finishing some holes. In the center portion of the Airstream on the ceiling, there are just a few more holes that I need to Dremel, sand, and fill. And then all the holes are finished in this entire Airstream. Thank God, because I'm so over hole filling. So let's do that first. Just a few holes. These holes are from where the trim used to be. Glorious day. All of the holes are filled. Now that all the holes are filled, we are going to be moving on to paint. I need to prime around both of the fantastic fans in preparation for putting in new ones today and tomorrow. And I need to put on the actual paint color, which we picked up yesterday. Hopefully it'll be the right shade because I don't want to have to do this twice, but I think it's going to look pretty good. So let's do that now. Okay, we are going to get started with painting our actual colors. We've got night blooming jasmine is going to be the white color for the walls. And then we've got wheat bread, wheat bread for the cabinets. We're going to start with this night blooming jasmine. I'm going to put this on the bathroom ceiling that I primed uh, two days ago so that we can then put in the fan that needs to go in there. No, I'll just... Got the first coat of paint onto the ceiling. I'm going to let it dry and then do a second coat and then we'll be ready for this fan, which Gorin has joined us. Howdy. Howdy. What you got there, fan? Got us a uh, vent air, vent line, one of these here, uh, van air roof vent fans. Cool. It's uh, pretty much a direct replacement for what's in there. A couple little differences, but and Mostly new for the positive. Great. Um, so yeah, what do you have to do to get the um, roof ready for that? I have to basically scrape out the old one. Okay. Um, do it all to make sure that this all lines up as much as possible. All right, great. Now we're getting back to the primer to prime the shower. I'm going to prime the rest of it and then I'm going to sand the walls and maybe hit it with another coat of primer, but we shall see. 
and the shower is primed. First coat. Gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna get some lunch because I'm hot and sweaty. Let's go. I put a 150 grit sandpaper wheel onto my orbital sander and I'm gonna do a quick sand of this first layer of primer. All right, now I'm gonna wipe everything down with a damp cloth. I'm gonna let the shower walls dry from the damp cloth wipe down that I just did, and then I'm going to do a second coat of primer. Another set of priming that I'm doing today is around the fantastic fans, so that when we install them this weekend, we will have all the painting done around it, so it'll just look really nice and clean. Oh, hello. Let me get this off so you can hear me. It's a hot day today. Okay. So what I did was clean around the edge to get all the gook off. Uh, dremeled some of the holes to make them smooth. And then I went in with my orbital sander with a, I believe it's a 150 grit sandpaper on it, very fine. I sanded down all of the hole filler that I had put up in that area just to get those nice and smooth. I'm gonna switch over to a grittier sandpaper, probably my 60, because there is some residual glue on the ceiling that I need to remove before I can continue with my paint prep. My arm is just covered in crap. All right, as you can see, I am sweaty and disgusting, so I worked very hard today. Gorn was able to remove the fan from the bathroom and get the roof all scraped and prepped and ready to go for us to install the new fan tomorrow. I was able to put two coats of primer into the shower and get that all done. And then I was able to prep and paint two coats of primer onto the roof or the ceiling, I should say, where the fantastic fan is so that when we remove this fantastic fan and put the new one in, it, I won't need to paint around it. Got a lot done. It was really, really hot today, so we had to take a lot of breaks. I feel like I could have gotten more done, but whatever. Got done what I wanted to get done. Tomorrow, we've got a lot on our plate. We have another full day that we can work on the Airstream, but it's also gonna be very, very hot, so we're gonna have to take the middle of the day off, and I'll probably co you know go inside and edit videos or you know do what I need to do. Goran will work. So, yeah, it's coming along. The first seven days of this 28 days of Airstream renovation have been very busy, but fulfilling. I mean, in the beginning, I felt like I was completely stuck. You know, I had all these holes to fill and just all of this paint to do. And it's just very daunting, you know, but you just have to start, take that first step. And that's what we did. And now all the holes are filled. The paint has started. And I am pretty confident that we're gonna be able to take this trip in 21 days. All right. I'm gonna go take a shower and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. Like I said, 28 days of Airstream renovation, 28 days in a row we're gonna have a video. And then after that, you know, we're gonna have travel videos, more Airstream renovation videos, just tons of stuff. And if you're into any of that, you're gonna love this channel. So please join us. We love hearing from you. Be sure to leave a comment. Let us know what you like about our renovation thus far. And uh, if you hate it, tell us that too. Whatevs. You're welcome to your opinion. All right, I gotta get inside. It's still really hot out and I feel gross. All right, see you next time.